Hello and welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a payment link inside of Stripe. So if you didn't know what a payment link is, a payment link in Stripe is a URL that you can share with your customers to collect payments. It is a quick and easy way to accept payments online without having to build a website or a checkout page. So payment links are ideal for businesses that want to sell products or services online but don't yet have a website. They are also a good option for businesses that want to sell products or services on social media, in emails or in text. So once you have created your payment link, you can share it with your customers in any way you want. And when a customer clicks on the link, they'll be taken to a secure page where they can enter their payment information and complete the transaction. This can be very good as most people know Stripe and they trust it. So if they get taken to a Stripe checkout link, they will automatically trust it a bit more. Because if you had your own kind of thing set up and it looked a bit dodgy, people might not want to enter their card details into there. This can help make a business a lot more money and it makes it a lot easier and convenient for both you and the buyer. So the first thing you want to do is to be on the Stripe dashboard like I'm on here. And what we want to do from here is we want to look for payments. So if we go to the top left, there is a few options like home. And the second one in is actually payments. So we want to go ahead and click on that. And here's where we can see all details about our payments. But what we want to do is go into the top right corner and look for create payment. Uh, There's this blue button here. And when we click on this, it will give us a few different options. However, we want to choose payment link. And as you can see here, it says create a link to accept one time or recurring payments from anyone. So we click on that. And here's where we can actually begin to edit it. As you can see, I'm in test mode, so my customer won't be charged for this payment link. To send a live payment, you must activate your account. So if your account's the same as mine and you're still in test mode, you do want to make sure that you activate your account first so that you can actually send a live payment link. If you don't do this, this will not work correctly. So make sure you do actually do that first. So from here, we can actually start editing things about our payment link. So first one is select type so you can choose between products or subscriptions or customer choose what they want to pay so if you see over here on the left of the preview if we change it it actually changes there so if you have product or subscription it's a fixed amount that you choose so let's just say you were selling a subscription to something you might want to charge the customer 10 pound every month so here it would say 10 pound if you choose this one, it actually lets the customer choose what they want to pay. So it says here, this one's better for tipping, donations, or pay what you want. So if you've made a product that you don't mind giving away for free, but would also be happy to accept donations for, this would probably be a better option for you, as you can do this, and then people can basically choose what they want to pay. So if they want to give you a big tip, they can do that. Now next up, you actually want to add your product. So... As long as you actually have products added already, you should be able to find it in here just by typing it out. However, if you haven't and you need to add it to start with, you first want to click this, add new product. And then here's where you can actually uh, fill in some details to save this product. So you, want to, so you want to name the product. Then you want to add a description. It is optional, same with image, but both of these things I would recommend as they can help people understand exactly what you are selling and it could help people buy. Next up, you want to add the price and then you also want to choose whether it's going to be a one-time payment or recurring. So if you're trying to make a subscription where you collect payment monthly, you would want to choose recurring and then you can choose the billing period from this drop-down menu here. And then when you're done, go ahead and click add and then you can select it in here. And then from there, we're almost done. And we just have a few more options that we want to go through. So the first one is collect tax automatically. You do have to activate Stripe tax to automatically calculate and collect the right amount of tax. You can choose to collect customers' addresses. You can choose to require customers to provide a phone number. And you can also add in some custom fields. So if we need some extra information on this form, we could add in another field like I've just done here. However, this is not needed, so I can get rid of this. And then next up, we actually have the advanced option. So we can drop this down and it gives us a few more options about our Stripe account. 
So the first one is to allow promotional codes. So if you tick this, as you can see, it allows you to add promotional codes. So if you have some sort of deal on or something like that, you do want to activate this so that your customers can type in your uh, promotion code and then take advantage of whatever deal you are running. However, if you don't have any sort of promotion running, there's no need to really have this. Next up is allow business customers to provide tax IDs. And this will display an additional field for the business to provide their VAT or other tax ID. And they will only display this field to customers in certain countries. Now you can view docs here if you need to learn more about that. There's also a save payment details for future use button. So you can select this option if you plan to charge a deposit and then collect the full amount later. So that option can be useful for some certain companies. And then last but not least, we have the call to action. So at the moment it's pay and the call to action is down here. If you didn't know, it's this blue button here. And we can change this if we want. So if we were book it, if we're using this payment link to book something rather than pay for a product, we can choose book. As you can see down here, it changed. Or we can also do donate if we are running some sort of charity. Then after you've done all those options, that is everything for the payment page. Now uh, there is also the after payment up here. So if we click on this, we can change a few more things such as our confirmation page. So it's given us a few examples here. So we can choose to have this option on or off. So by default, it will be uh, set on. So it will look something like this after they buy something. It will come up saying, thanks for your order. And this is a nice little touch when people buy stuff. Just to show them you're thankful for their purchase. However, you can actually replace this with a custom message if you would prefer. So you can do this and type in what you want. Or if you don't want it at all, you can click don't show confirmation page. And it, will re and it will redirect customers back to your website. So you can choose that if you'd like. And then the final option we can change here is to create an invoice PDF. So Stripe charges 0.4% of the transaction total, capped at $2 per invoice. So you can choose this if you need to create a PDF invoice. And then once you've chosen all of those options and you're ready to go, you want to just select create link up here in the top right corner. And then after you do that, it will actually have created your payment link and you can start using that to sell your products or subscription or your charity. Whatever it is, you can start doing this with Stripe right now. So as you can see, it's not letting me do it. That's because I haven't added a product yet and I haven't filled out any of these details. But if you've done this correctly, this will work and you will be able to create your link and then basically start your business. So I hope you found this video helpful. And I hope you successfully managed to create payment links inside of Stripe. If you did, please comment down below to say that this video helped you out. And like and subscribe for more content like this. Thank you for watching.